Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4, Waking the Tiger playing as Rexist Belgium. We wrecked, pun intended, France using paratroopers. Now we are trying to take down the UK, but we are struggling with this just a little bit. Here's the thing, I really don't want him to capitulate. Not too quickly, because if he does, then um, I may not be able to get any of his vassals in on the war and make them my own puppets. So we have to be careful about how we approach that. I'm going to have you guys just go ahead and pop in there. You go pop into there. You guys just real quick pop into here as well. Let's just get a good strong front line that we can use against Birmingham if possible. You actually attack directly here. I just want to get a good surround. So my thought here is we need to get just enough victory points that we are able to um, quickly rush in. Well, okay, enough victory points to be on the verge of victory, but don't actually stop until he calls these people in. They're in, not in the war, but they can be called in. I don't know what the exact mechanic is as far as when you can satellite your opponents and when you can't. Um, in my test games, in the few that have succeeded against the UK, um, if we... Well, there have been some times where I mean... Okay, here comes Australia. There have been some times where I'm able to satellite at least a couple of his uh, nations, but not all of them. And I have to wonder if it's because they didn't all get called in, or maybe they did, or I don't know. Okay, we managed to grab that. There's British Malaya. So we have Australia and British Malaya. So does this mean now that I, if I won this war, I would be able to puppet British Malaya and Australia. I don't know. I really want Canada, and the British Raj if possible, but really want Canada. Why? Because if we get Canada as a puppet, or just annex them, we now have a front line we can use against the United States before they get super industrialized and involved in the war. Which would be amazing, for reasons that I suspect should probably be for, sort of obvious. You guys need to stop attacking here, because this is just being dumb. You, instead, need to attack here. See if you can crush that. There's New Zealand. Okay, actually, hold back for a minute. He is trying to move troops out of Dover. I'm not opposed to that, because that would allow me to get the extra 20 victory points. South Africa is in. Kill the cavalry. There's the British Raj. Maybe? Is this how it works? I really don't know. Are you going or what? There's Canada. Okay. You guys push up this direction. Get up toward, like, Glasgow region. We're almost at Birmingham. Motorization effort, army effort. Done. Okay. Let's go for equipment effort. Factories. We got a few more, apparently. Uh, let's go ahead and start making some motorized, because I don't have any right now, but we're going to end up wanting that. Capitulation, we're only at 65%. He controls 48% of victory points. So if we take Birmingham, how many do we get? You guys all reinforce here. Take Birmingham. Now. I want that city. I want it bad. Okay, we got it. Okay. How close are you now? 77. He has 37% of victory points. So what? He just lost like 7% for a 25-point victory point city. So if we grab Dover, Portsmouth, and Glasgow... That might actually be enough to win the war. Let's grab it real quick and check. Okay, now we're really close. He controls 31%. Yeah, two more provinces of 15 points, and we win. So that's Dover. Portsmouth. Not quite Bristol or Cardiff, but I would be okay with taking those instead. So, am I now in a position where I'm totally okay with just winning the war? If all of them are in, is that how it works? You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a quick save, because I want to make sure I understand how this is going to work, but then we're just going to push for it. Okay, done. All right, guys. Your front line are stupid. Let's go ahead and delete that. I'm going to tell you to just go ahead and push wherever you see an opportunity. Take everything you can. Go. If you have an opportunity, get them on their back heel. Get them out of here. I'm happy with that. Motorized. Okay, you guys are just wasting your manpower right now. Stop. Stop. Reinforce. Get a surround. Move toward Portsmouth. Whatever it takes. I would love a surround on Dover, but they do have a navy base. Which should mean that they're getting um, resources, so I'm not going to cut them off from a, for attrition. But even so, it's still a good thing to do. Can I get any air superiority here? See if we can move up here real quick. Okay, we're a little closer to the action. I don't know if I can get any air superiority, but maybe we can at least put some restrictions on them. You guys move up here. Okay, that's Edinburgh. This is worth one victory point. It's not much. But he's 90% of the way to capitulation, so we don't need much. Push here. Just go. Grab everything you can. 
I'm not feeling picky. Everything you can. Come on. I just need a couple of... I just need to find a couple chinks in the armor and we've got this. We're having a little trouble. I could call in the Germans, but I don't want to. I don't want to call in the Germans. He's reinforcing really hard right now. Um... Go grab all of that. What's this worth? One. Not exactly much, is it? Kind of looked like a Testins there. Alright, so we're pushing these guys out. That's another point we'll be able to grab. That puts him to 91%. So I think every victory point is worth like 1%. We're so close. Anything would be enough. Hold your troops. You guys are being dumb right now. Get your organization together. Let him exhaust himself upon you instead. Okay. Um, I don't see an immediate chink in the armor. You stop. Okay. We're going to take a couple of you and have some reinforcements there. Leave London. Go down here. I want this cut off. I want Dover. Okay, he's going to defend against me here, apparently. If he wants to exhaust himself, I'm fine with that. Can we counter push right now? No. Can we counter push right here? Close. Very close. Okay, you guys have max organization. Now go. I just need something. Come on. Anything. Anything will do. Grab these islands. We've got to have this all done, which means I can get some more reinforcements. They're not much. They're freaking paratroopers. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How many victory points is this worth? Five. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We don't have air superiority of southern England... But Northern England, as far as we're aware, is fine. Go here. Paratroopers, go here. Actually, never mind. All of you, go to this air base. Here's my thought. What if we land some paratroopers here and here? There's no air superiority, which means we can launch the, the paratroopers, and that should be it, right? That should be it. I think... Okay, get the paratroopers in position. You go somewhere else. I don't care. All right, so these six troops. One, two, three. Paradrop from here to here. One, two, three. Paradrop from here to here. Go. Let's see if this works. Landed. Landed. He's at 98%. Come on. <laughs> That doesn't seem fair, though. All right, hang on. Grab all these. Grab all this. We're starving him out of resources, though. Oh, I want so badly to get in here. Do you have an airbase nearby? Wait a minute. I can't get into Plymouth. There's nowhere else he has uh, victory points that I can get to right now. That's it. All right, that was my only shot. It was really close, though. In my defense. Let these guys get their organization up. We're going to make a push for Dover next. I need both of you guys to come over here as well. I need reinforcements. <clears throat> this is going to be it. Push. Push. Get Dover. He's only got one troop. I've got six troops pushing in on him. This is it. This is it. This is it. Right? Uh, hello? 100%. You don't have your victory points. End! Yes! 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 We got it! Ow! Ow! All right. Can I satellite all your puppets? No. Why not? Wait. See, this is what I'm talking about. Why can I only satellite British Malaya and British Raj, but Canada's not in here? They were in on the war, but there's nothing we can do. That doesn't make any sense, right? Apparently. Huh. 
Well, that's very disappointing. Um, I don't know if maybe Canada didn't contribute any troops, and that's why we couldn't do anything. Maybe we had to actually kill a single Canadian. Untouched by any of the winners, so no demands can be made against them. South Africa. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. So there's nothing we can do here, then. Darn, I really wanted to get Canada. Okay. I don't know of any way to touch them is a thing. We can't, we can't go there. I couldn't actually kill any of them. So, but again, no, here's the thing. British Raj, untouched by the winners, so no demands can be made against them, but we can still satellite them. Case in point. If I do that, they'll become the Belgian Raj. Same with British Malaya. So how does this work? I don't know. End turn, we're going to take that. So those guys will be my puppets. Uh, free France. I am taking all of your states. Everything you have ever owned, everything you have ever loved is mine. Belgium finally shall realize their lifelong dream of conquering France. Let's go ahead and take everything we can from the British Isles. Now, I'm not going to kill the entire British Empire. I am going to puppet what's left. And the reason I'm going to do that is they still should have a huge navy. If we only puppet them and don't full annex them, they keep their ships. Which means they will be a very valuable puppet indeed. I am, however, going to take everything over here, though. I, mean, I feel like we kind of might as well. Let's go ahead and grab all this. We're going to take everything we can in Egypt and Africa. I'm going to grab your rubber. I'm going to grab all this. Some chromium. That'll be nice. South Africa, you live another day. I wish you didn't. Take all of that. Take Gibraltar for good measure. Um, I mostly will leave him with a few island ports so that he can move around his navy at will. But I will take a couple of islands here and there as well just to make sure that I have what I need. And crap, we're out of victory points. Hang on. Okay, we'll try that again. Grab these, grab this, grab a port, little islands out here so that we can get a navy if we so desire. The rest of this is probably fine. And I want to find an island over here. You'll do. Just little things here and there. Get some ports. Um, we'll take this as well, I think. Gets me some range. And then in Canada... First off, what would happen... Maybe I can launch from Bermuda. And then I'll take this, which would get me some borders with Canada, technically, though they're not very good. And then we'll take something in the Caribbean, especially since this guy has oil. Is that Trinidad? I think it is. We'll take that. Take this. That all seems good, right? And turn. UK. You got a few more things. We'll leave you this island. We'll leave you some more islands down there. One should have some manpower. Oh, wait. We'll take a single island over here. Thank you. Um, I think that's kind of it. So we'll puppet the UK. End turn. Done. And that's it. We take 113 states... Free France was annexed, Belgian Raj was puppeted, Belgian Malaya was puppeted. Again, why? Wow, pause. What just happened? The German Reich declared war on Yugoslavia. Not my problem. Um, okay, so we owned both of these, but we didn't, we didn't touch them. But why could we satellite them but not the other guys? Someone explain the mechanic to me. Why could we not touch Canada? That's what I really wanted out of this war. Because that would have made it possible for me to go get the United States. At least in the meantime, this is something, and the British Empire retains 247 ships! That is a lot of ships! Guys, see? How, first off, it's amazing. I'm glad he didn't keep all those ships in the English Channel, because that would have been certain death. But now, with the British Empire as my puppet split across the entire world, that's a floating 250 ship army that we can use anytime we want to. I don't need to have a navy. And in the meantime, we get all the factories. Yes, it's amazing. Okay, we need some popular. We need some. We need. We need some manpower. Let's do limited conscription. Yay! 
Factories. We have plenty of them now. I don't need any more infantry equipment. Support equipment's good. Fighters? Sure. Artillery? Motorized we even have a lot of. I don't have anything else researched. Do this. Get some more fighters. Get a lot more fighters and then more motorized. And artillery. Do all these things and I shall be pleased. The also, the good news is now that we are done with this whole war, we shouldn't be having any more resistance blowing up all my stuff. Sweet. All right, naval dockyards. Uh, I guess we just keep building more convoys because that's the only thing I have researched. We probably should at least research um, some submarines or something at some point, but I'm never going to have an amazing navy, and now I don't need to. Let's get a front line against the Netherlands, but not going in from Germany. And an offensive line this direction. So this is another thing I need to take. I need to take the Netherlands. I wouldn't even mind taking Luxembourg, but really, what am I going to get there? By the way, we now have 100% uh, world tension. I generated 89% of it. Yeah, that makes sense. It would take 160 days in order to justify a claim against the Netherlands. That would be good. So I'll take them. Maybe I can even take over the uh, Dutch East Indies. That'd be fantastic. Worst come to worst, though, we can also look to finding a way to get a claim against Canada or the United States. You might be saying, well, why don't you just go ahead and fabricate against Germany? Actually, a good question, but they do have 100 troops and I have 30. Hasn't stopped me before. Canada has 10 to 18. The United States has 29 to 63. Here's the thing. The United States gets really powerful and they're already working on the giant wakes. But they have isolation right now, which means they can't have, like, any army at all. Actually, in fact, like, they literally can't have almost any army at all. Volunteer only. Ooh. If we could find a way to fight the United States, what if I built air bases? <gasps> we have islands next to them. What are the odds I could get some air superiority and launch paratroopers and kill them? Ooh. Ooh. At least enough to get an army in position. There's a thought. Um, we're going to stick with the Netherlands first before the Germans can kill them, though. So let's move forward as if everything was normal. We apparently lost another paratrooper, by the way. Um, I am going to keep the paratroopers down here. We're going to garrison this area. At least for now. Come back to that later. These cavalry are worthless to me. Uh, and we have a single army there. Okay. Now, here's the other fun thing, though. Hey, first off, let's go ahead and replace our paratroopers, because they were amazing. Um, division designer. We now have so many other people that we can take their troops from. British Empire. How much manpower you got left? 222,000. Belgian Raj? 20. Oh. You were way weaker than I think I expected, sir. Belgian Raj, 41,000. Something. It's something. Um, all right, fine. Let's take a look at the British Empire. Your templates are quite vast. Um, that's terrible. No wonder they lost against me. That's pretty good. I want that. No. No. Tank brigade. No. Cavalry brigade. No. Infantry. That appears to be the exact same thing, sir. Engineering and artillery or... Oh, engineering and recon. Ah. Duplicate. And then... No, wait. That's not what I wanted. View? Okay. Copy. Thank you. Train. Location shall be... Location shall be down here? Why can't I? Outside home area? Oh, wait. Does nothing you own count as the home area? They actually might be not able to do any troops. Uh, if that's case, then that's a huge oops. Nope, no, and no. Ah! Well then. Uh, apparently I should have left them a single province in, like, Scotland or something. Oops. All right, Belgian Raj, what do you got? We might take you anyway. Nine. This is perfect. Copy. Train. Location set. In. Madurai. Can we set these guys in? No. I didn't think so. Okay. We'll do that. 
I think you have more manpower than you let on. I think you're going to get a lot more than you let on. So yeah, go ahead and train up these troops. Just make a bunch of them. Um, I think we'll be alright. They have to provide a pretty decent amount of manpower, though not a ton. But yeah, this is the only way that I think I'm going to get any meaningful amount of manpower back. Alright, alright, we're going to do that. Um, let's go for the extra research slot. How did I miss that? Research slot makes a lot of sense. Can we also train up some British Malaya troops? Sorry, Belgian Malaya. Uh, what do you have? Terrible. 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 Mm. Yeah, I don't think I like any of these. Um. No. Alright. That's apparently not working very well. We could try training some more of the Congolese troops. How many troops, how many manpower you have left? None. Alright, I think we may have tapped you out. Let's just let everyone's manpower regenerate for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Uh, what do we need in order to conquer Holland? 32 political capital. That's fine, I can wait a little bit. And there we go. I'm gonna justify a war goal against you. Uh, and instantly they are being defended. No, lend leases. As long as no one guarantees their independence, we'll be okay. Though Canada might decide that they want to take the mantle of the Allies. Which, by the way, appears to be a lot darker in color than I remember. How'd that happen? Eh. Alright. Well, clearly I should have sent a single troop to go and invade uh, Canada somehow, so I could have taken all of their lands in that war. That actually might have been a better strategy now that I think about it. Let's go for a field hospital. I need to start saving up my manpower. Of which we have really nothing to speak of. 0.031% of eligible non-core population. 237... 6 million. Wow, really? You'd think I'd get a bit more manpower then. Uh, are we supplying any down here? We are. Okay, I'm already supplying a fair chunk of manpower. Like some tens of thousands down here to these guys. So that's something at least. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we do not need any more of your rubber. We have plenty, thank you. Don't need any tungsten, thank you. Still need uh, the oil, but that's about it. Production and construction are going to be doing just fine, I think, at least for now. I'd love to construct some more stuff, but for now I think we're just going to have to sit back and wait. Uh, decisions. Expand rubber plantations in Madagascar. Sounds fun, but we're not going to worry about that right now. I, by the way, now own the Maginot Line. Guess how much easier that makes it to kill Germany. Way easier. Way, way easier. They are being guaranteed by Canada. What do you know? How many troops do you have, Netherlands? A few. Not a ton, but a few. Hmm... I'm going to garrison both of you guys up here. And I'm actually going to instead garrison you guys up in Canada. Just to make sure we hold this province. Because I now think that there's a very good chance that we are going to have to fight Canada now. Because they are indeed taking up the mantle of the Allies. And that gives me the opportunity I was looking for to kill Canada and get the borders against the United States. So I'm not going to complain. We, by the way, now have some army experience. Now is the time to start improving my divisions. Uh, we'll worry about motorized later. Let's deal with the primary things like these guys here. Let's get some support artillery and some recon companies. Okay. And you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and change you guys out for artillery. That's 20 combat width. Way more effective. We'll do the same thing here with our primary infantry that belong to us. Done. Um, paratroopers we could improve. Alternatively, fix up the motorized and start training some of them up. That could be good. I do love motorized, and it's very good against the Canadians. That's as most as we can do, though. We can't afford anything else. We'll do that. And we're going to train a bunch. And by a bunch, I mean at least a few. Although it looks like this is as much as we're going to be allowed to field. For now. So yeah, we're kind of hitting our limits right now. But we are angered, apparently, by Dutch posturing. And they are... Um, yeah, okay. So we will be done I by December of this year. So we have a few more months to get ready. Alright. 
All right, it is not 1939, so I don't need to worry about upgrading the infantry equipment quite yet. Um, I would love to get some logistics companies going, because if we're going into Canada, we know that's going to be a problem. We're about to finish the computing machine, which is going to reduce our research time. I know this video, by the way, has been a little bit of fighting, but then also just a lot of sitting around and trying to get like myself back in order. I'm okay with that. Um, I just know that that makes the video a slight bit more boring for you guys, but... Hey, there's a lot to manage all of a sudden. All of a sudden, I have just become, like, the Allies itself, but owned by Belgium. If I could only control Canada, that'd be fantastic. Canada. You probably have... Well, you don't have much manpower. You're super weak. Why would you defend? You've got nothing. You've got practically no troops whatsoever. All right, well, the sooner we can train some troops here in, um... India, the better. What are we missing right now? Manpower from Belgian Raj. <sighs> that poses a small problem for me. If they don't produce any manpower, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, nothing to do there. Let's go ahead and unlock radio detection. Hungary renounces the Treaty of Renan, and the German Reich declares war on Czechoslovakia. So they cannot take over France, but they're trying to now go take over Croatia, Czechoslovakia. They're probably going to move on Poland soon. Here's the thing, though. The German Reich... They don't get France, they don't get any of those factories. So yeah, they don't have to worry about like losing any manpower fighting France or the UK anymore. So they're not distracted and they can just take over all this. But they also don't have a lot of factories, which means maybe we've starved them of something they really needed. At least I'm hoping that is the case. We may want to temporarily go for construction repair. Because right now we have a lot to repair. It slows me down from getting other focuses I like. But you know what? That actually may be smart right now. Let's do this temporarily and greatly increase the speed at which we repair everything that got damaged. Czechoslovakia is very dead. Computing machine is going to be done. We get decryption and stuff. September. Uh, tanks are nice. Can't afford them right now. A little early to go for more paratroopers. We could upgrade our special forces. I've never done that, but eventually we could get to maybe having increased cap. Out of supply. Special forces capacity multiplier plus 5%. Huh. That's a way of getting a lot more. Let's go ahead and research the tank. Because right now we don't have any. And we're going to need that. Actually, cancel this. Forget tanks. We're never going to get tanks. Instead, research the anti-tank. We know we're going to need that when we fight the Germans. They're going to have a lot of tanks. We want piercing value. Piercing is good. Okay, Czechoslovakia is dead. They didn't even bother calling me in on this one. Guess they knew that they didn't need my help. Can't say that I blame them. Alright, so we have troops here to defend. Uh, sort of. Not a lot. I'd like to build an air base. That would be good. There's actually a lot of things we kind of need to be building right now. Hang on. We need an air base. At least a couple levels. And we kind of... We might end up using this. Maybe this is the base we use. Keep the army here, supplied, ready to go. And as soon as we land down here in St. Lawrence, grab a uh, port with our paratroopers, launch the army, and then go kill Canada. That might work. So let's go ahead and prioritize those. In the meantime, everything else is going to get repaired passively because of the national focus that we picked up. That's not too bad. Uh, conscription law. We may need to change this to extensive conscription to get some extra manpower, because we have really none right now, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes, that increases the training time, but what can you do? Until the uh, Belgian Raj produces any meaningful amount of manpower, which it looks like they are not doing at all. They've got a little bit. Not much. At least we have the uh, manpower for the... Um, motorized ready to go so what we could do is actually cancel a few of these since they don't have anything cancel 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 get some manpower back let's go ahead and start training up some of my own divisions actually let's just see do you have any manpower no we've tapped you out completely I really wish there was some place I could train 
the UK. But shy of releasing them as a puppet right now, and releasing their land, I don't see how that's going to work. So instead, yes, we are going to train some of our own troops using some of my own manpower, which wounds me greatly. But we kind of need to. That's all that I can set up. Hmm. Doesn't really leave me much, does it? Alright. This appears to be currently the best we can do. But Belgian Raj is gradually producing some manpower. That is something. Alright. Alright. So now we're going to kill the Netherlands. We have 60 days for that. And then by the time that we're ready for that, we need to be able to go and fight Canada in some way. If we can get Canada as either a puppet or uh, just annex them completely, then we will try to kill the United States. Once we own all of this... Then I think we try to betray the German uh, Reich and Italy. Betray the Axis, take everything over here. And maybe if we're lucky, the Soviets get involved as well. Maybe. But we'll see. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.